Shipping accounts for around more than 3% of global greenhouse gas emissions. In 2021, for example, shipping emitted about 700 million metric tons of carbon dioxide, which is about a third of India's domestic emissions. And if we were to sort of make global shipping a country right on the list of global top emitters, it would take up the sixth position. So that shows you how significant it is. That's why the International Maritime Organization, or IMO, set new rules for the shipping industry to lower its carbon footprint and reduce air pollution. While volcanoes can release some of the chemicals that cause acid rain, most come from human activity and burning fossil fuels, which release nitrogen oxide and sulfur dioxide into the air. So, in 2020, the IMO introduced a rule that cuts the acceptable level of sulphur in marine oil from 3.5% to 0.5%. To help meet these green goals, King Abdullah University of Science and Technology has come up with a solution and it's all about creating clean and sustainable fuel for shipping and I've got Professor William Roberts with me and I can, see, I can smell fuel, it is... Uh, you know, permeating yes, the air. Yes. Have you cracked the code? We are working on a process to remove sulfur from heavy fuel oil for marine transport. Yeah. So the objective is to be able to get down to this uh, International Maritime Organization 2020 regulation that puts a cap on the sulfur emissions. And so you can either pull it out of the exhaust, the flue gas, or pull it out of the fuel. This project started four years ago. It's a partnership with Saudi Aramco-based oil company Lubrief. For Professor Robert and his team, it is about finding a sustainable solution to using scrubbers and also making it cost-friendly. Scrubbers are a cleaning system that is placed on ships to remove the polluting sulfur oxides from the ship's exhaust. So Professor, the whole point is to try and remove the sulfur Correct. from the fuel Before and, not, you, yes, right. and not use filters. And not use scrubbers on the ship. Yeah. Right? So you use a land-based, low-cost, high-efficiency approach Right, that's green. So you're using sulfur for something, you know, the, the, the right. offtake, right? So it's, it doesn't wind up in the atmosphere yeah. or in the ocean if you're using scrubbers. So let me ask you this. Yes. What percentage of sulfur are you actually able to reduce okay. and remove from the, the fuel that you're working with? So, so the high sulfur fuel oil is about 3.5% and we can get it to less than 0.5% and this is the IMO regulation. This method of desulfurization is not new. It has been around for several years. Professor Robert and his team are trying to remove the sulfur on a large, more cost-effective scale. There are 55,000 ships right now, right, on the ocean. 800 of them are, are uh, liquefied natural gas. So the infrastructure is enormous that you're not going to be able to replace because that's at a tremendous cost and energy penalties. So you're much better off modifying what you have than trying to replace uh, completely. 